Thanks for joining us on TVC News at One. Let's begin in Nasarawa State, where former Deputy Governor Onje Gewado has been released by his abductors. Professor Gewado was abducted on Friday night by gunmen who invaded his residence in Wamba, local government of the state. He was released on Sunday at about 9 p.m. after he sustained pressure from security operatives. The police public relations officer, Ramhan Nansel, who confirmed his release, said he has been reunited with his family. I have joining me for perspectives to this development, former Commissioner of Police, Nasarawa Command, Bola Lunge. Thank you so much for joining us on the news this hour. Uh, talk to us about what you make of the kidnapping of the former Deputy Governor of uh, Nasarawa State and his release. Uh, CSP, uh, Mr. Bola Lunge, can you hear me? But let me correct that uh, initial mistake. I'm not a CSP. I'm a retired assistant inspector general of police. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. That thanks uh, for the for the correction. What do you make of the uh, kidnap or and then the release of the former deputy governor Onje Gewado? Well, we thank God for what has happened, and we thank God that he has been released. Uh, it was a bad signal that a former deputy governor of a state was kidnapped. And something has to be done about that. The police and other security agencies, they must put their heart together and work as a team, as a mechanism to neutralize the antics of the criminal elements, particularly the kidnappers, in that uh, climb. Right. So uh, we just uh, rounded off election, the electoral process in Nigeria, talk about the presidential election and then the governorship elections across the nation. And it was as if the issue of kidnapping, banditry, etc., had gone down, you know, looking at against the backdrop of the cash crunch, where we said where it was said or believed that that would reduce the you know the level of banditry and kidnappings that have been recorded over the years. But then, this time around, we seem to be hearing the activities coming back up. Is that to say that they've never for once gone down? Well, I was a commissioner of police in that state for 31 months. Before my advent as a commissioner of police there, there was a great deal of kidnapping going on in the state. But immediately I came, I mobilized all the police personnel. I had meeting with traditional uh, rulers, with uh, hunters, and the members of the society. And we worked together as a team. Consequently, we were able to neutralize the kidnappers in that state till I left the place. And thereafter, those who succeeded me they were doing a great job. Uh, I wouldn't attribute the upsurge in kidnapping to the issue of uh, uh, probably now that we are having money in circulation. It may be as a result of those who are mobilized for politics, the thugs and other criminal elements, uh, politics, as to some extent, campaign has gone, elections have been conducted, and uh, some of these talks have been released to the society. So it's an industry. They will find something doing. Well, so th that, that's really uh, an amazing thing to, to hear. So what exactly would you recommend you know, for the current security you know, architecture in the state and, of course, across the nation. Uh, looking at the issue of banditry now coming back to uh, what we tend to read and hear about, um, you know, happening across the country. What what would be a recommendation so that we don't we, we find this we fight this corruption? I mean, this insecurity to a standstill. Um, one thing I want everybody to know 
is that the criminal industry is very huge. It's a big industry. It's the biggest industry in the world because many people are involved. And because of this, there must be every mobilization against criminal industry. Whether we are talking about kidnapping, we are talking about banditry, we are talking about robbery, we are talking about uh, uh, any form of uh, criminalities. The totality of the society and the state must be mobilized to confront the criminal industry so that the, 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 the force of the society and that of the government will dwarf that of the criminal industry because it's an heavy industry. Virtually everybody is involved. Right. Well, thank you very much uh, for your time. Former Commissioner of Police, Nasara Command, Paula Lunge, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. God bless you.